good evening and welcome to our maiden edition of Bank of Industries Impact. Yes, it is now Impact. And in this restructure series, we shall show you more of how BOI's operations and initiatives are positively impacting the lives of millions of Nigerians across the country, especially in the area of job creation. I still remain yours, Hadiza Olao Shibikam. We are taking off tonight with highlights from an international event on information and communication technology, a sector that holds a lot of promise for fast-tracking Africa's development in general and that of Nigeria's in particular. The forum that is branded Demo Africa took place recently in Lagos. The first two editions were held in Kenya. The 2014 version that was partly sponsored by the Bank of Industry was jointly organized by the Communication Technology Ministry Microsoft and some United States agencies. You may be wondering what is Demo Africa and its connection with the new initiatives embarked upon by the Managing Director of the Bank of Industry, Mr. Rashid Olaolua, that are designed to support startups and innovative businesses, especially in the area of information and communication technology. This year's edition provided a platform for Africa's 40 most innovative technology companies to launch their products before a global audience of investors, strategic buyers, C-level executives, the media, and other entrepreneurs. Still want to know more? Why don't you sit back and relax as we bring you the high point of the third edition of Demo Africa. Enjoy it. Nigeria records post-harvest losses and wastages annually in the agricultural sector due to limited processing and preservation capacity. This results in high food prices and food importation with its attendant effects on the nation's foreign reserves. To enable Nigerians optimize the benefits from the country's vast agricultural products such as cassava, oil palm, rice, tomatoes and others, the Bank of Industry has launched a 5 billion naira cottage agro-processing fund, the CAP Fund. Customers can access the fund to establish plants to process our various agro-produce into food products or intermediate raw materials for industries at a single-digit interest rate of 9% per annum. For more information on the CAP Fund, please visit www.boinigeria.com slash CAP Fund. Bank of Industry developing Nigeria's agro-processing industry through the CAP Fund. The inaugural edition of Demo Africa took place in 2012 in Nairobi, Kenya, and that was the first time ever that a demo event was hosted on the African continent. This year's 40 most innovative startups that were selected from around Africa comprised representatives from 13 African countries, including Nigeria, that had the highest number of 15 selected businesses. Welcoming the guests to the third edition of Demo Africa in Nigeria, the chairman local organizing committee, Yeleo Keremi, while commending the Demo Africa initiative, said Africa are indeed ready to take their destiny into their own hands. This is indeed an attestation that we are black, we are not daft at all. We have what it takes to come up with solutions to issues that confront us as a people, and we have what it takes to come up with, is with solutions to issues that indeed confront humanity. The following two days, we have the benefit of unveiling innovations from 40 young and enterprising African companies from 14 countries. Now, these 40 companies have been selected very painstakingly from over 450 applications. And this tells me that, indeed, yes, we can, yes, we shall, and yes, we are unstoppable. Remember one thing, the British brought Christianity to Nigeria the Americans taught us how the business model how to make a business. Africans support religion, Christianity to the rest of the world. It's my hope, it's my belief that we're going to do this again with technology. Africa may have missed out in the agricultural revolution. Indeed, we may have missed out in the industrial revolution. 
but I think we will not miss out in the technology revolution. And it is my hope and belief that we do not only catch this train, we get on the train and we begin to be drivers of this train. Neil Silverman, the senior vice president of DEMO, outlined DEMO's support for this year's newly selected 40 most innovative businesses. This group of demonstrators, the 40, will join a group of really amazing, uh, amazing uh, people that are part of the demo community. Over the years, we've had thousands of companies come off our stage that have gone on to achieve great success. Companies like WebEx and E-Trade and Salesforce.com, the Palm Pilot and TiVo. There's just a few of now household names that have come off the demo stage. And I'm sure, based on what we've seen, that the next big thing these companies will, will be seen here over the next two days and go on to, to be global successes. So it's, it's as much as celebrating the amount of innovation that's taking place here in, in Nigeria, but it's, it's more than that. It's about seeing these companies go out and become you know, international uh, companies because there really are no borders. That's the beauty of technology. Today you can start a company with less money than ever before and grow. So why not you? Why not now? It's your day. It's your time. And we're here as demo just to support you, to give these companies a platform to show the world what they have. The Director General of National Information Technology Development Agency, NITDA, Peter Jack, in his speech, said Demo Africa will go a long way in boosting innovation in the ICT industry in Nigeria and Africa as a whole. The presence of Demo Africa in Nigeria is very significant and will be a major boost to the emerging innovation ecosystem in the country. And technology incubation program being championed by our parent ministry. It will strengthen the existing network of angel investors, venture capitalists, and other investors in the country. Although this is an event we are hosting in Africa, we are delighted that it is happening in Nigeria. We thank the demo organization for choosing Nigeria as the destination for this year's Demo Africa event. And I'd like to remind us that we are really committed to this desire to host Demo Africa again in Nigeria. I must say this, that with all the efforts we're making, the idea hubs in Lagos and Calabar will be supported by NIDA. In particular, there are a lot of achievements from the idea hub in, La in Lagos. But the Calabar Center, we need to intervene, and we're going to do that very shortly. So I want to assure everybody here that Nigeria will be the next destination for software development and entrepreneurship and opportunities in the ICT sector through innovation. Thank you very much. The United States Secretary of State, Senator John Kerry, sent in a congratulatory message to Demo Africa organizers as well as the participants. I'm delighted to welcome you to the third annual Demo Africa event. The work that you're doing over the next two days in Lagos and the connections you're making with entrepreneurs, innovators, and business leaders across the continent couldn't be any more important to the continent's future. When Africa is home to both the world's youngest population and to many of the world's fastest growing economies, this is an incredible moment of opportunity for Africa. By bringing young innovators together with venture capitalists and leading companies, Demo Africa is a vital platform for tapping Africa's entrepreneurial energy. That entrepreneurship is an essential driver of prosperity and freedom. And we know beyond any doubt that the places where people are free, not just to develop an idea, but to debate different ideas, to transform the best ideas into a reality, those are the societies that are most successful. And that is the kind of success that Demo Africa and the State Department's Lions Africa Partnership wants to help make possible. In his remarks, the executive producer and CEO of Demo Africa, Harry Herr, gave an insight into Lions Africa's commitment to strengthen and deepen its support for Africa innovative businesses. The Lions Africa Partnership is aimed at strengthening and deepening the ecosystem for innovative entrepreneurs across Africa. 
along with partners such as Demo Africa, Microsoft, Nokia, VC for Africa, and VentureHive, just to name a few, we believe in the shared vision that entrepreneurship, particularly technology and innovation startups, is a powerful tool for development and for Africa's economic rise. By supporting and inspiring challenging African innovators and entrepreneurs through various Lions Africa initiatives, including Demo Africa, we are cultivating an innovation ecosystem that enables growth and facilitates new investments. The U.S. State Department is engaged in partnerships like Lions Africa and countless other programs around the world to promote what we believe is one of America's greatest strengths, entrepreneurship and innovation. The chief host of the event in Nigeria, the Minister of Information and Communication Technology, Mrs. Omobola Johnson, stressed the importance of software development as well as innovative business development. It is good to show prowess in software development. That's very good. But it is even better to develop businesses and companies that are powered by that software. I think that the recent IPOs of Twitter and, of course, of Alibaba are testimonies of what is possible when we develop companies that are focused around software. I can't imagine that it is too often that you get this level of um, government participation in any demo around the world. And this is because government, innovation, and entrepreneurship are hardly ever spoken of in the same breath or in the same place. But governments, indeed African governments, have an important role to play in catalyzing the startup industry as evidence in the, in the US and of course Israel. And at this point, I really must thank the US government for the support that they've given to Demo Africa. We hope that this will continue in many different ways of partnerships. And we will learn from the experience of the US as really the entrepreneurship capital of the world. She also highlighted some of the creative steps taken by the federal government to support entrepreneurship in the ICT sector. The Nigerian government has done and will continue to do her bit to support the software development industry. We are contributing to the development of a robust pipeline of startups with our industry-focused tech launchpad software business competitions and our idea incubators and accelerators. The last time that I was in this building was to witness the graduation of seven startups from the Idea Center after about eight months of incubation. In the next few days, we will be conducting the first close of the government-seeded IT Innovation Fund. Government has committed $9 million to this $15 million fund as seed capital. And this fund is being managed by EcoVC, a partner. And we're literally a month or so away from making our first investments in a number of Nigerian and African tech startups. This is a major milestone for us. We're excited about it. And we're excited to be contributing to the development of startups in Nigeria and in Africa. But despite all these achievements, there's still a lot to be done. We still need to build the infrastructure to connect more and more Africans to the internet we need more ideas to be birthed. We need more companies to be nurtured. We need more investments to be made in these companies. African governments will stand up and support what is actually becoming a revolution, in my opinion. I want to wish all the finalists well. I know this has been an exciting, uh, very tough journey. I know you've been in boot camp for the last two days, been uh, trained and kind of shaped up for the next two days. But you must remember that you have a great product. You've been extremely well prepared to make your pitch. And I just ask that you come up here and blow the judges out of the water. All the very best of luck to our 40 finalists. At the No Holds Barred one-on-one -on -one session with the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of the Bank of Industry, Mr. Rashid Olaolua, he enjoyed all and sundry, most especially the youth, to come up with good business ideas, which he promised the bank would not hesitate to support. Uh, looking at startups to actually do their R&D, because most of the corporates are too big to innovate, um, and therefore... Uh, they look at startups as one of the uh, areas where they can do their R&D, then the corporates could then uh, bring them into, into their organization. Is this something that Bank of Industry is also looking at or today or in the future? Um, the Bank of Industry is ready to support these innovators. 
um, in terms of you know, giving out loans, in terms of also some equity. Uh, as a matter of fact, we are looking at developing a venture capital uh, entity uh, that will ensure that we're able to support uh, a lot of these innovative ideas here. Um, if I may be very specific, um, there is one of these exhibitors here today uh, with whom the Bank of Industry has already entered into an MOU. Uh, when was that MOU? This was uh, last week. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Innovation is a big thing. When I was reading the profiles of the 40 players, I, I came to a conclusion. And that conclusion is that um, a large percentage of the businesses here uh, are ICT related. Uh, you know, e payments, e commerce, e learning, and you know, stuff like that. Um, the world is moving at a very rapid pace in a number of other areas. I would like to encourage. African youths uh, to look at these other areas, okay? And I think if you have the good idea, you know, in terms of along these other axes of uh, innovation, you will get support. You get support. It's, it's, I think what would determine how much support you get is the quality of your ideas. We realize that the the proportion of SMEs in our portfolio. SME loans to our, in our portfolio is very low. So there's a deliberate effort right now to ensure that um, we provide uh, greater support to SMEs. So uh, as a matter of fact, we, we have a directorate that is now dedicated to SMEs. So we have an executive director for SMEs, and uh, uh, we are doing a lot of things to ensure that SMEs get the attention, including uh, 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 ICT innovators that we have in this hall. What would you tell these guys who are about to launch their products today? Be persistent. Persistence. Because Persistence. It, there's a lot of obstacles, there's going to be a lot of challenges, but just keep doing it. Just keep at it. I wish you all the best. with some of the selected 40 most innovative businesses, they shared with us some of their product ideas as well as challenges going forward. Well, Demo Africa presents a stage to us all to pitch, to get investment, to make connections, and to let the whole world know what we've been developing from our base in Ghana. Um, we have a global solution, we have a product that works, we have a market that needs it, and we have a great distribution strategy that requires really, really less resources than using manpower. So we are on the demo stage to look at these clients who would want to partner with us and to look at investors who want to really put their money in exploding markets. AfroCab is a technology startup and our primary um, uh, product, product and service is essentially a platform, a mobile platform that allows African cosmopolitans connect with their cities. So we have a mobile app and a mobile platform where you can use to request a ride in minutes. You go for a meeting, you need a, a, a ride to get you back to your next meeting, you bring out your mobile phone, which is becoming ubiquitous in the African market, you request a car and you'll have one in a couple of minutes. And it's secure, you have the name of the driver, the picture of the driver, and and, you know, you don't have to now. You don't have to concern yourself about owning a car. Um, while we're part of Demo Africa, Demo Africa is about technology startups, and we are indeed a startup. So we are support as a startup. A couple of things that you need: you need a phone to communicate, you need to get around, and that's what AfroCab does. We connect people with their cities. So Demo Africa is supporting tech startups. We're a tech startup, and we're also supporting technology startups. I've had a lot of work, exciting projects and work with, um, with Bank of Industry working together to support upcoming businesses. So now that I am part of an upcoming businesses, I am definitely going to be engaging with Bank of Industry and hopefully we'll work together. Um, so far we have experienced uh, challenges with um, the compliance. You know, there are several regulatory bodies that you need to comply with to get your device available in the market. Uh, we're overcoming those challenges by the day. 
Uh, but the, but the, I would say the largest challenge has been funding. Uh, we have so far bootstrapped and between myself and my co-founders sourced for funding to get us this far. Uh, we trust that uh, from Demo and, and of course with the Bank of Industry, we would secure more funding to bring this awesomeness that we have built to the African and Nigerian market in particular. Cube enables card payments in person, anywhere, anytime, real time with any device, I mean basically a smartphone or a basic phone with or without the internet. And by doing that, we're basically enabling commerce to happen anywhere. And we all know that Nigeria, you know, is a country where there's a lot of commercial transactions happening all the time, every time, everywhere. So basically, we're going to enable people to be able to accept card payments right on the spot. Now, we know that cash is currently king, but cash has its advantages. It's cumbersome. It can be stolen. It can be lost. It's unsafe to carry around. And, you know, there's still the issue of finding change. And we're changing that because there are bank cards available, credit, debit cards, you know, and... But right now, not everyone can accept that. So um, with Cube, now people can do that. They can accept it on their device. So going forward, we are looking for partnerships, people that will work together to enable us pretty much achieve our mission and our vision, which is to facilitate payments, mainly in-person payments, and pretty much making the whole payment thing easy. You know, people don't have to really know what's online underneath, provided it's secure, it's safe, and it's strong. And all we need, they need to do is conduct their business, which is commerce. And we're going to help them do that and take care of payments for them anywhere, anytime, with or without the internet, on any device. It is estimated that the Demo Africa class of 2012 has already attracted more than 8 million US dollars in investments, business deals and or partnerships less than a year after their launch. Expectations are that the participants at this year's edition of Demo Africa will similarly attract multi-million dollar investment after the Lagos highly successful exposition. Welcome back. From all indications, there's high optimism amongst the 40 selected entrepreneurs who share their views with us, some of whom have actually approached the Bank of Industry for support. A couple of the most understanding ones have already signed MOUs with the bank. I'm sure you must have taken one or two things away from today's program as you heard from the Managing Director of VOI, Mr. Rashid Olaolua, in the course of the program. The Bank of Industry is always willing to support good investment proposals in Nigeria's development priority sectors ranging from ICT to agro-industries, solid mineral beneficiation and other similar ventures that have very high potential development impact such as employment generation. Demo Africa might have come and gone, the Bank of Industry is always here for you. If you have good investment proposals, with potential multiplier effects that can positively impact our lives, such as employment generation, please visit any of BOI's offices nearest to you or contact us electronically. Our highly skilled professional team are always there to assist you. It's on this note that we we'll conclude this maiden edition of BOI's Impact. It's bye for now. Nigeria records post-harvest losses and wastages annually in the agricultural sector due to limited processing and preservation capacity. This results in high food prices and food importation with its attendant effects on the nation's foreign reserves. To enable Nigerians optimize the benefits from the country's vast agricultural products such as cassava, oil palm, rice, tomatoes and others, the Bank of Industry has launched a 5 billion naira cottage agro-processing fund, the CAP Fund. Customers can access the fund to establish plants to process our various agro-produce into food products or intermediate raw materials for industries at a single-digit interest rate of 9% per annum. For more information on the CAP Fund, please visit www.boinigeria.com slash CAP Fund. Bank of Industry. Developing Nigeria's agro-processing industry through the Cup Fund.